Hello everyone, this is Tina. This is gonna be the third video related to n plus one problem solution. And uh, uh, this solution is called the uh, batch size, which will turn n plus one queries into n divide batch size plus one queries. Okay, and uh, this annotation is a part of uh, Hibernate extension, so it's not in JPA specification. Now let me show you how to using batch size to kind of like solve n plus one problem. Okay, first, still we have to demo you the where is n plus one problem happens. Okay. Uh, I create a new method. This method is gonna using a sales rep. Sales representative. Okay. And uh, also the customers. Okay. Uh, sales rep and the customer is one too many. What thing? One too many relationship. And uh, I'm not sure it's. Uh, uh, okay, it's bi directional. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, see here. When we see mapped by, it's bi directional. Here it doesn't matter is eager or lazy. Anyway, they're gonna issue any queries. Uh, we just leave eager here, okay? So now in my app, I already create four sales rep, okay? And for each of the sales, it also have uh, all of them, okay? Each of them have two customers See here. I just here using two here, okay? And I persist of them. Now let's make a query. I think you guys should be really, really familiar what I'm going to do now. Okay. Customer and what's it? Query equals em dot create query and here using from customer. And then here we give a customer dot class, right? Class. And then we have a, uh, we have a, what's the thing? A query. A, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we're using customer. And here customers equals query dot get a result list. Then we do a loop for 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 customer C customer C and from customers. Then here we get the collection of oh oh no, I did something wrong. I should get it from the sales rep. I was still in the previous demo from customer sales rep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sales rep and a sales rep. And here's the sales rep and a sales rep. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, sales reps. Okay. And uh, here, here is a sales rep. And here is the sales reps. Okay. And the sales. Okay. <laughs> then here we get a customer. Okay, because for each sales rep, it's gonna have a collection of customer, right? Customers equals s dot get customers. Okay, we just do now like this. Okay, now here, I'm not sure if we want to retrieve because sometimes it might not issue the uh, select statement. Oh, it needed to because here we're using eager. Okay. So now let's add some uh, statement here to show when the actual the query is being created by the Hibernate. Okay, issued. Oh no, not the issued. I should say executed. Let's add a system out here. Customers dot get zero dot get a name. Okay, so let's run, and you will see all the queries is between one and two because we're using eager loading, and three and four there's no queries because it's gonna fetch from the cache. Did I run? Oh, sorry guys, I have to run call this one in the main methods forgot okay call mm -hmm. 
good. See here. Here, between one and two, we have a select statement to say uh, to. We have a between one and two. We have a select statement to select for all the sales rep, and we have four other select statement to get each customer. The reason why here the four queries are here because we are using eager. If I using lazy, which is a by default one, you will see the gonna be changed. Okay, lazy. Yeah. Lazy, and you will see here between one and two, it only has one, and between three and four, you will see the select statement. As I said, right between one and two only has one. But when we're trying to get the customers, okay, to get the uh, each customer's information, then here we're gonna issue the queries. So this is n plus one. So what is the batch size? How to do the batch size? We do like this way. Here we add an annotation called the batch size, and we give a size. Suppose we give a two. It's gonna using the in select in and then he will every time every query when we get the customer here every time it's gonna fetch you two customers okay so here previously here i have one two three four to fetch the customers right when i give a batch size two here it only has two queries now it's gonna here now it's using the id like this way and later on it's gonna using in so it can give a two, uh, what's the two sales rep ID there. Okay, let me show you. Okay, here, take a look at. I select the sales rep, and to select the Frank and John, you can see I have one query. And for remaining, I have one query. So your our four query previously become two queries because it's using something here, using in, see here? Every time it's gonna fetch two because my batch size is two, got it? If we still don't got it, uh, let me draw a diagram to show you, okay. Come out, yeah, oh my God. Do one more time. Okay, and here is this one, okay. So let's draw this one before. Previously, we're using the from, mm, let me using the black, okay. From sales wrap, right? This is one query. Then it gonna give us the result, right? Which is a sales rep, sales rep one, okay, and the sales rep two, and this is a collection return, right? Three and the sales rep four, and this collection is this collection least sales rep. This collection, right? This one. Okay, we'll hold the value. Now, when I get a customer, so for sales rep, it's gonna make a select statement to fetch the two customer. What are the two customer? Here has the Frank and the Brown and Jane and Terry, right? He will make a select to get a customer. For sales rep two, when we do a loop, he will also go to the, the uh, make a select statement. Where's my cursor now? Okay, sorry. He will make another select statement to fetch for the customer one and customer two. Okay, this here is one, two. For sales rep three, to get all the, when we call get customers here, they also make a select statement, okay? And get a customer one and two, okay? For sales rep four, still, when it call get customers, it will also make a select statement, okay? So when we add the batch size, when we add the batch 
size equals two. Okay, every time it's gonna make a query for the sales rep, it's gonna make a query select, but it's gonna using in. Okay, in sales rep ID is one, sales rep ID is two. So one query it's gonna fetch two collection. Okay, so the first query gonna make uh, fetch for customer uh for the customer collection for sales rep one and customer collection for sales rep two. And now for sales rep three, since it I haven't fetched right, so it's gonna make a query, but this query will also have a select and in sales rep ID three and four. So for this query it will fetch this object collection and this object collection. So in this case, when we using batch size, it's gonna turn n plus one. Probably is previously it's gonna select 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 select, which is n plus one, turn into n divided by our batch size plus one. And see here, previously we have four plus one queries, right? Like here has one query select 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 select. 4 plus 1. Now, after using the batch size, we have what? We have 1 and 2, which is 4 divided by 2, which is batch size plus 1. Okay, which is 3 queries. See here, 1 query, 2 query, 3 query. Okay, this is a batch size. And uh, batch size, when we add, it's always there. No matter you want it or not want it, it's always there. Okay, uh, it's static, always there. So here, let me show you the problem of batch size, okay? Previously, here we are doing a loop, right? It makes sense to using the batch size because we want to uh, uh, short or we want to reduce the queries made to the database, okay? But now, if I make a change, Okay, now I make a change. I uh, using sales rep dot get this one I do what? This one is to get the first sales rep. Then dot get a customer dot get zero dot get a name. Now what I'm doing here? This one is I want to get the first customers uh, first name from the first sales, which means in this case, I only want to get the first sales, right? There's no need to retrieve others because I only want to have one. When I add the batch size here, even though here I only want the first sales, it will retrieve two, okay? If I give three here, I don't care how much you want. I just give you three. That's a problem of batch size because you might fetch the object we don't want, we don't need. Okay, let me show you. So here I change it to be three, okay? And in our, our application, I only want to have one, but it will fetch three because batch size is a static. It's always on. We cannot turn off Okay, unlike entity graph and join fetch, we can choose, we can control them. But for batch size and later on, we will talk about sub-select. You have no choice. It's always there. Take a look at this one. Here, in one, two, three. Even though here I only need one, but it actually fetch three inside the cache. Okay, that's a problem of uh, the batch size. And uh, uh, I think that's it for this video. And the batch size, okay, batch size will turn, what? It will turn uh, n plus one into n multiply batch size plus one, okay? So if you have other questions, you can leave a comment below and um, Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.